Hi everyone, Rich Owings here for GPSTrackLog.com and today I'm going to be showing you what a powered mount is. But first let's take a look at how these attach to your car, uh, in your car. Here's a typical Garmin suction mount for the windshield. These two pieces just pop right apart and that's great because it gives you another option besides a windshield mount. Um, namely using this uh, suction, uh, this friction mount here, also known as a dashboard mount. You can just clip this on and then when you want to clip the Nuvi into it, you just clip it in like that and boom, you're good to go. I really like this because if I get to a store or something, I'm going to run in real quick. I can just take the whole thing, toss it in the floorboard, cover it up with a jacket, and uh, when I come back out, I just stick it back up on the windshield and I'm good to go. Nothing to mess with there. Um, so I'm going to use this setup to show you a powered mount, um, frankly because it's a lot easier than trying to mess with it up here on the windshield and all. So here's the key difference. Well, you've got a place to plug in the power cord here um, to connect this to your computer or whatever. There's also this connection for a powered mount on this newbie. So you can see on this mount here, on this piece of the mount, you can see the connection point there and you can see that the power cable plugs directly into the mount there. So this is a powered mount and well, let's try that again. I snap it in. Those things can be a little tight. And it just connects like that. So that's a powered mount. Now let's take a look at the non-powered mount. You can see that this is basically just a clip. There's no place to plug in a USB cable. So what that means is that every time you uh, get into your car and want to start using your device, if you want it charging uh, while you're using it, you have to plug this thing in each time. With a powered mount, you can just leave it plugged into the charger all the time. Uh, so it's just another step in the process there. So uh, that's the difference between a powered and non-powered mount. This is Rich Owings for GPSTrackLog.com.